The teachers were flexible. They weren't in a, uh, I would say, box mentality, and they understood the value of each and every child uh, that comes to New World and the kind of m movement and the and the room that they need in order to grow. Well, New World is a great, great, great school because not only you get to take classes with faculties that been with dance companies, so their experience, most of their faculties has been dancing with famous dance companies. So they really shape you and get you ready for the dance world out there, you know? So. As a dancer, the training that you get um, at a conservatory program like New World is irreplaceable. I did a performance at the Gusman and uh, the teacher that I had always wanted to give me recognition came into the dressing room and he was like, Herrera, you were fee-e-e-s. And then walked out. And I didn't even know he knew my name. So I think that was like for me by far the best moment. Anywhere you go, you mention New World. If you are in the arts program, you're, they're going to know it. And that's something that the fact that you can say I was part of such a small, elite, exclusive community is what really sets you apart. Welcome back to Figure in the Arts, New World School of the Arts, Arts and Entertainment Program. I'm Maria Flores, and we are here with the Music Division, who will be telling us all the special things they have been doing to celebrate New World School of the Arts Silver Anniversary. Uh, here with us is Jim Gazer, Dean of the uh, Music Division, and Catherine Alexander. She's a mezzo-soprano uh, for the Music College Music Division. Uh, Jim. I understand uh, that, the, of course, the music division puts on a, an array of, of uh, concerts every year at the Arch Center, at different venues through the city, but this year in particular, the symphony concert uh, was very, very special. Tell us why. Well, we, we enjoy so much being at the Arch Center, um, and we've, we've enjoyed so much being at the Gusman and just being around wonderful venues at the Colony, and we have that opportunity to be in, in so many different wonderful, wonderful places to perform. But our, to celebrate our 25th anniversary, we wanted to do something special and add a little bit of a, add a, little bit of a zing, and we had a guest uh, artist, Elaine Alvarez, who was absolutely stunning. And, and she, performed, she performed with the orchestra at the Arch Center, and uh, she, she's, an alum, she's an alumna of the program. She's a high school uh, graduate in the class of 1998. Mm -hmm. And she just gave perf a wonderful performance of, from Don Giovanni and La Traviata, and it was, it, was, it was stunning. So great to be able to feature homegrown talent um, you know, that, that, we've, that we work to foster and, and work with um, you know, on our, own, on our now, own turf. Elaine is a soprano, correct? Yep. And, go ahead. She's well. She's um, she's surprised. She's she's gone on to do so many like wonderful things. She's done stuff with a, a performances with the Chicago Lyric Opera and really all over the country and all over the world concerts, operas. And she's really a rising. She continues to be a rising a rising star. And she came back to celebrate our birthday with her talent. Yeah. Uh, you've also taken your program to the community. You've exp not that you you do this routinely, but again, this year was special uh, in terms of uh, being with somebody who is a virtuoso in the violin. Uh, tell us about your experience. Alexander Markov, a performance with him. He's, uh, he's a deeply appreciated virtuoso, and he's, uh, he's earned an incredible reputation as a, as a violinist playing classical repertoire. In addition to that, he's a composer and he wrote this, this tremendous work called the Rock Concerto, and it gave our students an opportunity to perform new music, um, more, you know, more popular um, music, more commercial music that we don't necessarily always get a chance to showcase with the orchestra, um, but it was a tremendous opportunity for the students. We had nearly a thousand people um, come to the performance at Fairchild Tropical Garden, and it was, a it was a tremendous opportunity. Alexander Markov played the first half with his violin and the second half with a special electronic violin that had lights on it. It was, it was uh, fun. And the music was, the music was really, was truly great as well, but it was, had a different kind of spin on it. And I think it was really, it was a fun alternative and something new and, and different 
It was fun for, for the orchestra, for, the, for, for our conductor, Alfred Gershveld, and for the audience as well. Well, and those, that sounds like quite a treat for the community as well. Um, another recent event was the opera. We brought the opera to uh, a brand new venue in Miami-Dade College, the North Campus, uh, their, their theater. And this is, uh, you brought Cinderella by Rossini. And uh, Catherine was one of the stars of the show, yes. of the concert, and she played one of the evil, not so evil, lovable sisters. Yes. Uh, why don't you tell us, I, the, the, it was directed, the, the opera was directed by Don Westwood, uh, one of the great directing operas and other shows. Tell us about your experience working with Don, and then we'll talk about Ryan Allen. Well, Don Westwood is quite a character. Anyone who knows him knows that it's an absolute pleasure working with him. You know you're in for a treat when you work with him. He's spontaneous, he's very outgoing, but he's also very down to earth. It was a little bit nerve wracking at first because you think, oh my God, he's directed so many big operas and so many things, and you think, how am I gonna compare? But it was actually very relaxing. It was, uh, he worked with us, he worked in such a way that he helped us really manipulate our characters in a certain way where we really came to life. It's very important to be able to work with someone that's approachable, which he is. Um, it, it helps you bring your character to life and you learn so much from yourself when you're performing. When you don't perform with someone that you're on that level with, it's kind of difficult. So working with him, it was an absolute pleasure. It was very easy to work with him. And working alongside a guest Ryan artist, Ryan yes. Allen. How, I actually went to one of the rehearsals and I felt the atmosphere was nice and relaxed. Yes. How was it working with him, rehearsing and on stage? He was, oh boy, he was so much fun. He is so easy to feed off of on stage. I'm the kind of performer, I like to do things that are spontaneous on stage because it keeps things alive and he just picks up and throws things right at you and he's so he's very charming he has a very charming personality and it was also very nerve-wracking to work with him because you think he's done this opera so many times so many translations so many venues and you think how am i going to perform with him what is he used to what kind of singing is he used to hearing but he was just very welcoming and very relaxing to work with he um he actually gave me a lot of career advice and a lot of school advice which i'm very very grateful for him to have done that. He was, I, I really hope I get to perform with him again, now, actually. Now, career for you, we're yes. talking just a couple of years away. Yes. You are, tell us a little bit about your career here. You're in the college program? Yes, I'm in the opera division here at the New World School of the Arts. I'm in my third year, I'm a junior. I'm 22 years old. Um, I've been singing ever since, I think I probably sung before I spoke. Um, I've just, I've been in love with music all my life. I can't imagine life without it. And I definitely intend on pursuing it professionally. And because you said two things. One is that Ryan Allen makes you think on your feet. Yes. So you have to improvise. Yes. And two, you learned to sing before you started to speak. So yes. now I'll toss it to you and say, can you sing right now? And can you give us a taste? of what the audience experienced during the opera. Sure. Take it away. think on your feet and that was wonderful thank you and it's time to say goodbye this is figure in the arts I am Maria Flores and New World School of the Arts it's a four-year program high, high school and four-year college program uh, there's a lot to see a lot to share 
a lot to experience when you come to New World School of the Arts. Meanwhile, if you'd like more information, please uh, visit our website, nwsa.mdc.edu, or feel free to call us at 305-237-3135. Until next time, this is Maria Flores.